Hello everyone, I'm Tatsuya Sato from Hitachi. In this session, I introduce uh, operations smart contract of SG, which is a smart contract based system operation tool for hyperledger fabric based systems. This of SG got, got registered as a hyperledger labos project in this February. Okay, first, I'd like to talk about what is OPSSG. As a background, a single blockchain-based system is built across multiple organizations, and each organization has a separated administrators. Our goal is establishing decentralized system operations across multiple organizations for blockchain-based systems. The primary idea is to define a system operational workflow as a smart contract, like this. And each organization operates their own nodes according to the, uh, like this. As a result, J operations are unified over much organization. We think that the value of our OPSSG is inter-organizational operation, which can be performed without relying on decisions by a specific organization with unified uniform procedure, compute parameters, effect. Let's move on to the hyperledger specific topics. In the current fabric, individual operational tasks like via commands has been defined and single point of trust is eliminated. For example, uh, with the introduction of a new chain code life cycle from version 2.0. However, as a remaining issue, there is room for improvement in end-to-end -end operational workloads using the individual tasks. To improve this issue, the OPSSG for public version 2.x aims to enhance negotiation and automation capabilities. GOPS SG helps negotiate config parameters for operations and execute the operations to nodes automatically and decentralized. This scenario, oh, sorry, this slide shows the overview of the current implementation. The implementation consists of three components, uh, Obsession Chain Code, API Server, and Agent. Chain Code provides functions to manage operational workflows and issue Chain Code events, including the operational instructions. API Server provides REST API for each of the admin to interact with the OPSSG chain code. Agent for each organization executes operations based on the chain code event to all, or to all nodes for the organization. In a typical use case, operator for an organization first rolls out of an operation and then administrators for other organizations vote for the proposal. If a majority of vote is collected by each organization, uh, agent for each organization agents to all nodes for each organization based on the chain code event. Currently, the implementation provides a purpose specific OPSSG, which is essential for managing the public network for operating chain code and channels at the first phase. This slide presents the OPSSG for operating chain code. From version 2.0, new chain code life cycle was introduced. The new step for approving chain code definition from each organization was added. 
it can eliminate centralized process in deploying chain calls. However, as a remaining issue, it increases operations which are executed by each organization and must use the same parameters. Also, the admins who need to negotiate the source code and parameters with other organization in typical case. So, the Ops SG streamlines end-to-end -end chain code deployment. An organization create a proposal with chain code source code and definition. As a OPS both for the proposal shared on the Ops SG. When the majority of votes is collected, and automatically deploy the chain code based on the proposal with downloading, installing, approving, and committing the chain code. This slide presents the OPSSG for operating channels. So the left part shows process for channel update across multiple organizations like adding an organization. In the process, an organization first create a config TX to update the channel. And then, as a sign the config TX. So, they need to share the config TX organizations. So, GOPSSG is streamlined such a channel update across multiple organizations. The sequence is the same as the ones for operating chain codes. Okay, now I give a demonstration using customized test, test network in public, public samples. Just a moment. I'm during the demonstration. Okay, the first scenario is adding a chain code. This is the portal screen with interacting Ops SG. In this scenario, three organizations of one to three are ready. Each organization admin uses a separated portal for each organization. Now, of one, create and submit a new proposal to deploy a new chain code via the OPSSG, and then the information is shared on of the OPSSG chain code. As the next step, uh, of two, uh, upload the proposal. Like this. When the majority of approval is collected, the agent for each organization will deploy the chain code to North based on the obsession event. Now, the chain code is installed on the all peers. And now the chain code is deployed over nodes for all organizations. In summary, GOX SG enables decentralized coordination of operational information across multiple organizations. It enables uh, automated and unified chain code deployment. The second scenario is adding a new organization, OG4. And as an initial state, the three organizations, OG1, 2, 3, are ready. To add OG4, first, OG4 issue key and certificate for their nodes 
by using the uh, she outside of the she. Then, OG4 send MSP information, including certificate, to OG1. Next, OG1 will create a proposal to add OG4 to system channel by using MSP information for OG4. Now, OG1 is creating the proposal, and now OG1 submit it. Next, OG2 approve it. When the, uh, so uh, now uh, agent, uh, agent update the channel state. Now the organization are uh, repeating for other application channels. Okay, let me skip the steps. After that, OG1 fetch the system config block and send it to OG4. And OG4 launches their nodes using the config block. Now, OG4 is ready on the portal. Also, you can see the existing chain code that deployed on OG4 the peer by GOPSSG. Let's go back to the slide. Okay, here is the roadmap for OPSSG as a kind of time. We have plans to improve the quality of existing uh, features and also uh, develop new features for general purpose operations, which enables to execute arbitrary command via OPSSG chain code. Also, we aim to get the part of functionality of OPSSG merged in hybrid fabric in the future. Now, OCSG is available on this, uh, this repository. Uh, and we welcome your feedback and contribution. Please feel free to contact us on the Rocket Chat channel or email. And as a related presentation, Toto from Oracle will be giving a presentation with this title. If you were interested, please check also his presentation. And finally, let me check the question from audience. Okay, there are no uh, question so far. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all my presentation. Thank you for coming.